Hi, my name is Gavin Brown. I'm a professor at the University of Auckland in the Faculty of Education and Social Work. Also, I happen to be currently the Associate Dean for Postgraduate Research, and I'm the Director of the Quantitative Analysis and uh, Data Research Unit within the faculty. Additionally, I'm the uh, I'm an affiliate professor at the University of Umeå in Sweden and a honorary professor at the Education University of Hong Kong. Many years ago, I was a high school teacher and uh, spent 13 years teaching. So I have a teaching background and moved from there into educational assessment research, developing standardized tests for, for diagnostic purposes rather than for evaluative purposes or for administrative purposes or for certification purposes. In New Zealand, we have a strong tradition of using tests to inform teaching practice. And I spent nine years as a standardized test developer working on, finally, on the assessment tools for teaching and learning. My doctorate was supervised by Professor John Hattie, who was a keynote speaker at this conference in 2007 in Budapest. So I feel extremely honored to follow in his footsteps as a New Zealander speaking to the European Association for Research in Learning and Instruction. I'm an active member of SIG1 on assessment and evaluation, and I appreciate their support in nominating me for this role in 2019. My concerns with educational assessment start with my practice of having been a teacher and developing assessment tools for teachers to use to find out who needs to be taught what next. The theme of this conference is to look back to the past, consider what's in the present, and think, imagine what's coming in the future. So in my talk, I want to address some of these concerns. Psychometrics, the measurement, uh, the statistical measurement of what's in tests, it used to be part of psychology very clearly. And over the years, as time has gone by, the world of psychometrics has diverged and become a world of computer science, learning analytics, machine learning, statistics. And it's lost its strong contact with the world of psychology. And more importantly, from my point of view, it's lost its contact with educational assessment, assessment in education for education rather than of education. And that's one of the current trends that's been going on in education for the last 20, 25 years, is how can we use assessment more actively to assist learning in a classroom situation? Tests measure certain aspects of learning at a certain time point in a certain event. But assessment in a classroom happens in the moment, during classes. It often happens in the moment, on the fly, and in the head of the teacher who reacts by giving feedback, by asking questions, by asking students to be actively involved in assessment. These are the kinds of things that are going on in the world of assessment for learning or formative assessment, or as Stobart and William have talked about, the world of uh, the pedagogical practice of assessment for learning. The problem is, for me, that the world of psychometrics and testing has lost contact with the world of classroom assessment. There are efforts afoot in the National Council for Measurement and Education to try and bring those back together. But we're a long way from bringing the world of experimental research in the psychology of learning and instruction into classroom practice and integrating that with curriculum-based assessment that teachers do in everyday classrooms. These worlds are too, still too far apart. The world of the future is promising, let's move all assessment onto computers and use big data and machine learning analytic techniques to find out what students know and need to be taught. I have two qualms about that, two concerns. One is, how does that relate to classroom activity? How does that relate to what the teacher is doing? 
Are we really hoping to create a world where all of assessment and related teaching and learning is done on computers and kids no longer need to go to school to relate to each other and to relate to a teacher? What does this mean for being a teacher? I worry about are we pursuing the technological solution at the expense of the human solution that we found very effective for four to 5,000 years now of having humans teach young people to know and do and learn skills and abilities that they need for society. The other thing that worries me is the sense that we've got data, we've got ability to machine analyze that data, but where's the theory of what makes learning happen? Psychology has developed many theories around individual student motivation. The world of instruction, theories about instruction and teaching are not as well developed as theories about um, learning. But if we don't connect the world of theory to data, then what do we have? It's we're just throwing all the data in the air and seeing how it lands and hoping that it replicates in the next round of data that we throw in the air. We do need theory from the world of psychology. So the future of assessment that I see is one where we try to bring together the process of assessment in classrooms with the process of assessment on computers, with the processes of statistical and data analyses so that all of this can be integrated with theories about how learning and teaching are supposed to happen and how this can inform learning and improve teaching and a better outcome for all. I don't know if this will happen by the time I finish my career, but maybe in your time it will be. Thank you, and I see you at the conference in 2019.